you're about to experience the story of a bunch of tired, worn out church members who tried all they could to perform a Christmas play and a director who tried his best to keep these amateurs working together. Hope has a name. I am the longest running cast member of the Nativity Ensemble at our church. I don't like to mention it, but I am a formally trained prodigy of the theater arts. Having Donald on our cast is fantastic. Lord, I am surely blessed beyond measure. Oh. Okay, Heather. Let's do this again, but this time with more emotion. I want you to channel your, your inner Mr. Ron, okay? <sighs> Donald thinks he's helping, but all he does is compare everything to Mr. Ron. Tony, I need you to channel your inner Mr. Ron. My dear Mary. Stop. I need to Mr. Ron this over for a minute. Really? This is no way to treat your actors. If Mr. Ron was here, he would have left by now. Really, Donald? Because this potato salad tastes so Mr. Ron right now. Suddenly, the most splendorous heavenly being appeared to my cohorts and I. Stick to the script, please. Joel, it's called Hope Has a Name. I think the shepherds deserve a little poetic, don't you think? Donald, it's the Bible. I think God would beg to differ. By day, I make my living as an accountant, but a dedicated one. And as a dedicated actor, you must lose yourself to the character fully. Any questions for me at all? What's that smell? Green pastures, Bob. Green pastures. I'm so method, I haven't showered in a month. You really need to take a bath. I can't. These shepherds were society's misfits. They were transfixed by a choir of angels, but also amazed that God chose them. They were the scrawny kid in PE, the nerd who went alone to prom. They were the glee club president, twice. They were the least of these. God asked me to be the keeper of the most important message that has ever been kept. To tell everyone that he sent the greatest gift ever, the Prince of Peace. The lowest in the land was given the highest honor. What's that smell? 